Hi everybody, how's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. I'm in our uh, heifer barn here. This is the second pen of uh, free stalls on the north side of this barn. These are uh, heifers that are around 10, 11 months of age, just a uh, little bit younger than uh, breeding age, a little under breeding age. So what we've been working on here the last couple days or last week or so ish uh, just working on it here and there we've been moving the neck rail on the free stalls uh, trying to get the heifers to lay in the stalls a little bit better wasn't really happy with how the heifers were laying and we were having the odd heifer get too far into the stall and then not be able to get up easily it wasn't uh, happening all the time but enough times where i thought we need to do something about this because the heifers definitely should be as comfortable as possible in these stalls and uh, yeah so we that's what we've been working on here can uh, kind of show you guys what what we're doing so this pipe here this is what we call the neck rail and you can see we didn't move this one a whole lot just uh, an inch couple inches but kind of looking at how the heifers are laying so how these two lay are laying here this is actually what we want how that one is laying there she's really ideally she'd be back a little further to the curb because the idea is we want them in there all the way in the beds but we want their butts to hang out just on the edge of the curb so if they poop or pee it comes out into the manure alley here instead of into the beds i'll uh, i'll walk around here to the other side so the other side here we moved a little bit more Without scaring these heifers too much. We've kind of tinkered with these stalls a couple times already or this this is the second time I guess maybe the third time so when we originally put these uh, when we originally put these stalls in we were kind of going off of recommended sizes for Holstein heifers based on the age they were going to be uh, right off the bat we weren't super happy with it so we raised the stalls up three inches and then probably uh, six months after we went in and moved the neck rail a little bit to give them a little bit more space when they're laying down and kind of been talking about it here the last probably a uh, couple months that we should look at it again so I went through and uh, did some measuring uh, watched a lot of heifers uh, get up and lay down just trying to get an idea of how far we can go without going too far because we don't want them to get too far into the stalls like I was just talking about so it's kind of a kind of a balance but thought it was necessary to make a change so that's what we did now and uh, Sam and Jose Luis and Mauricio are working on the uh, older pens over there we I don't think we had touched those yet. Maybe we raised them up in the beginning, but we hadn't moved the neck rail, but we're going to do that now and uh, see if we can make things uh, a little bit more comfortable for the heifers. It's particular, particularly getting up is uh, what I'm most concerned about. They lay down fairly good, but what sometimes can happen is they lay down and shift their bodies. And then when they get up they're they're too far forward and catch that neck rail. And uh, we definitely don't want that. So if I can get some of these girls to get out of my way here, we'll look at some of these. Okay, the way that these girls are laying here, that's about that's about what we want. Their butts right on the edge of the curb there. Even these ones here, they're they're laying fairly good. So these, all of these pens have been adjusted already. See, and, She's almost laying too far back already, but looking at her number, she's a little bit of an older heifer. So she's, this would be one of the heifers in this pen that will be moved up next. So part of uh, the difficult thing here is we're trying to go for the average sized heifer in this pen, but of course there's gonna be an age gap because there's about 90 heifers in this one pen here. So the youngest heifer and the oldest heifer, they're gonna be, uh, yeah, a month, month and a half apart in age. Month and a half to two months almost. So there's gonna be a size difference there. And even if, even heifers the same age, there's gonna be a size difference. 
So we're trying to get, we want everybody to be as, as comfortable as we can make it for them. But at the same time, we don't want smaller heifers to get too far forward in the stall and uh, poop and pee in the stall and then the stalls get full of uh, bacteria and then we're gonna have other issues. And then the heifers are gonna get really dirty, potentially uh, get mastitis. So it's a uh, kind of a balancing act, I guess. But so far, from what I'm seeing, is I'm I think it's a, it was a good move moving the neck rail. We'll give it a, a few months and evaluate kind of uh, if we need to go more. If we went far enough, so as you, as you can see here, it's kind of hard hard to see maybe, but this is where that bracket was. So this one we went probably a good three inches here. So they go through, loosen all these bolts and all these brackets, and then I. I marked uh, each pen or each row of stalls in a few spots and the way that I'm measuring these is uh, from, from the curb down there, from the back of the curb, the distance from there to the neck rail essentially and that's how uh, we're getting, trying to, trying to get the right distance and trying to get it accurate all the way across and then I'm also doing that on the, the other rows of stalls. So we're trying to get that same distance across the, the whole pen, trying to keep that the same, so that when a heifer walks in a pen, she, she should be uh, with her back legs kind of on the back of the stall and then touch this neck rail with her neck and that signals her that she should lay down. And that's kind of the idea. And on some of these, especially uh, on the older heifers in the pens, they were standing with their back legs on the manure stall, on the manure alley. So that's a kind of a sign, I guess, that the, the stalls are a little too short, that neck rail's a little too far back. And then what they're having to do is lay down and adjust themselves a little forward. And we don't want them to do that. We want them to lay down where they, when they walk in, we want them to lay down and stay there so that when they get up, they don't hit that neck rail. So they've got, they've got this line moved up and like I said, Mauricio's tightening them back up there. And then on the ends by the concrete, their anchor bolted into the wall. So that's what Sam and Jose Luis are doing here. So there's this bracket here in the concrete to help keep these stalls stable. So we're uh, cutting bolts off, hitting the, the rest of the bolt into the wall and then re-drilling them. There's also uh, three pens in our milking cow barns that are mainly first lactation and some second lactation cows where I'd like to adjust the neck rail as well and I'm just going to check up on these guys make sure that they uh, don't need any help have questions for me if they can't find the marks or something but uh, I was going to head over there and start uh, start looking at those we have to move that neck rail back actually so we with uh, first lactation, second lactation cows. They're getting too far into the stall and I, I think they're making the stall more dirty than I'd like. So I'm just gonna go over there, watch heifers for a little bit and then uh, start to measure in a few spots, make sure that, uh, that they're all the same to begin with or close and try to figure out how much I should move them back. But I'm thinking about an inch or two to start. We can always come back and adjust it more if we need to, but. I'll uh, catch back up with you guys when I'm over there. I'm in our uh, milking cow barns here now. And one of those two pens uh, that I was just talking about here, so this would be our pen seven, our pen seven, eight, and ten. They'd be uh, first lactation, second lactation cows. So typically, especially first lactation, they're going to be smaller than uh, the rest of the herd. So I'm just going to look at uh, how these heifers are laying here and it's not Maybe not the best time because these, these uh, cows are just coming back from the parlor so the majority of them are eating but I see there is quite a few laying down here near the end. So. As you can see, 
Like that third girl there, she's laying pretty good, but one, a few right next to her, they're laying too far forward. Most of these, these uh, cows are laying too far forward. And then when they poop and pee, it runs into the stall and then their uh, back end and their legs and their udders get more dirty than I'd like them to. Girls in heat there. One for sure. She's in heat. I'll see if I can find some heifers that are a little dirty on the back here, or some cows. Always uh, in a habit of still calling them uh, heifers when they're first lactation. I don't know if any of you guys do that, but they're they're not heifers anymore. But it's a lot of times what we call them. So we call these our heifer pens. But not really heifers, I guess. Let's we'll see if we can find some that are a little dirty. More yeah, like this girl right here. Her whole back leg and the back of her udder is dirty. Teats are not dirty, but another another girl here. This is actually a second lactation cow. More dirty than I'd like her to be. Overall, it's not terrible. Here you can see this. These two girls here, the one on the left is kind of cleaning up a little bit, but the one on the right there, she was laying in her own poop and pee at some point, it looks like. The big thing that sticks out to me about bedding with manure solids or separated manure solids is that the heifers over there stay really clean. They're their legs are extremely clean because I and I think part of that is as they're kicking those manure solids out of their beds it's soaking up the urine on the floor but also uh, their their diet is part of it too so the manure is a lot thinner uh, in the milking cows than it is with our heifers so there's just more stuff to splash up on their legs to begin with but you can you can see the bottom of the legs there I mean they're not dirty dirty but Definitely not as clean as they are on the heifers in our heifer barn. Overall, I mean, they'd, they're they clean. Their udders are fairly clean. I mean, there's the occasional one there and that just uh, causes extra time in the parlor because then they have to spend, so they, we're, we double wipe any cows that are, that have dirty udders. So they'll wipe prior to, to uh, applying pre-dip where normally they go right to pre-dipping if the udders are clean so I'd, we definitely want to try to minimize uh, cows coming into the parlor with dirty udders and I mean even if the stalls were perfect it still happens on occasion if one slips or falls down or uh, falls down because uh, she's in heat and another cow pushed her to the ground or whatever but we want to try to minimize that as much as possible and for udder health obviously the cleaner the udder the better so I do definitely want to move this neck rail a little bit so we have it set up a little different here so we have this this strap here and then the pipe so the idea is that they they hit the strap and particularly in older cows to make it a little bit easier for them to get up that when they get up they don't right away hit that pipe if they're laying too far forward not uh not really as big of a deal on heifers because they're they're younger they're it's a lot easier for them to get up and down but for older cows it's uh, nice for them to have this little cushion i guess you can call it to where they don't right away hit that solid pipe when they're getting up so we'll, we'll have to do the same thing over here loosen the only thing is there's six bolts six nuts over here with the u-bolts and then we'll have to slide this back And then on the concrete, it's kind of similar.
but there's yeah there, there's the four bolts and then we've got this ratchet here we'll have to undo the ratchet move this stuff over and re uh, re-drill those four after we get them uh, kind of where we want so what i'm going to do now is uh, measure some of these stalls here see how close they are they should all be fairly close because we measured them the same way when we installed these but just want to make sure before i start marking things and then i have to redo them so i'm going to measure the same way measure from the edge of the curb and i'll measure up to the strap here more than likely because i guess it doesn't really matter as long as i'm consistent but start measuring some of them and um, kind of watch some of these cows get up and down here and see uh, how far we should go looking at those cows over there where we uh, started looking kind of thinking about uh, two three inches I don't want to go too little where we have to come back and do it again but I definitely don't want to go too far to where we're gonna make these stalls too short and they're gonna have issues laying down or they're gonna lay with their their hocks on the that concrete curb on the back as then they're gonna start having joint injuries and issues and I definitely want to avoid that and I'm probably gonna go look at uh, how the cows are laying because our our cows because they're a little bigger they they definitely stay a lot cleaner than these heifers do or these first lactation cows so I'm just gonna look at them watch them get up and down and see how far back their butts are on that curb but I yeah I have a feeling that they're I mean the majority of them are gonna be right where their butt is just on that curb to where they poop or pee it's just falls over the curb and that's kind of the idea I guess they're all starting to get curious why why I'm in here but hoping to make these beds a little more uh, clean for you guys so it's spring but it's gonna be a little bit yet before we uh, can start to do some work outside definitely not thinking about spreading manure yet because there's uh, there's still snow on the field and uh, the temperatures for the next uh, two weeks they're about similar to what they are now it's above freezing during the day 50s 40s Fahrenheit at night it's right around freezing about 30 ish or so so at this rate it's uh, definitely going to be a couple weeks for sure bare minimum before we can do anything in the field but I have a feeling it's probably going to take a little longer than that so uh, we we start to work on some other things here I've got there's uh, two pens here it's pen 7 and pen 8 pen 10 they don't seem quite as dirty but there's a few more second lactation cows in that pen so probably gonna leave that alone for now we'll start with pen 7 and 8 and then uh, see how it goes see how the heifers look if they get any cleaner or not then we might look at doing that pen also but walking through that pen a few days ago didn't really see that many that were dirty so I'm also gonna go measure that so just to make sure that they're the same as far as where that neck rail is positioned but got a few things a uh, few other things we need to get done so they've been guys have been working at cleaning the fans off because before we know it we'll be turning those on and we need to go through and uh, check bolts nuts bearings and uh, augers in our manure augers that take the manure from the pens to our manure building definitely want to get that done too here in the next uh, two three weeks that's um kind of on the agenda here to get done before the weather gets nice enough that we can do some work outside it's the next day here back in our heifer barn the guys finished moving the neck rail on these uh, oldest heifers here just thought I'd come take a look here and then uh, head over to the two pens where we want to adjust that neck rail by the milking cows the, I marked them this morning the guys just started working on those but I thought I'd uh, just come take a look at these and see how the heifers are laying Looks like so far, it looks pretty good. We'll just have to, we'll just have to let them get adjusted a little bit and just uh, watch it here over the next uh, couple weeks. See, see what I think, I guess. Uh, didn't adjust them too much, uh, three to four inches, most of these, most of the pens. So it's not like it was a big change, but should hopefully see uh, a little bit of improvement here. But. We'll head over to the milking cows. Watch out, girls. 
head over to the milking cows there and uh, I'll, I'll explain when I get there but I'll kind of talk about uh, what I found out after measuring uh, a bunch of pens over there and pen 7 here Figio's over there moving that pipe and uh, Jay Luis, Sam and Mauricio are adjusting that bracket on the wall there these uh, can slide but this one couldn't slide quite enough where we didn't have to cut the bolts so they've got this one moved over but they still have to tighten it back up this one's been moved over and these this one's done actually and you can see we moved this one about four four or five inches most of them were about four or five inches so i after measuring all the other pens in this barn i found out that these two pens for some reason they're a little there's a little more space than all the other pens the neck reel is more to the front than the other pens not sure what happened i'm assuming there was a mistake made when we measured these I'm not don't can't really think of any other reason why we would have uh, given these two pens more space so it's probably good that we started working on these because it's definitely the reason why these stalls are more dirty than the other pens so what i did was uh, went an inch more than the pens with our third plus lactation cows a little bit back a little bit so they lay down a little earlier since they're small gonna be smaller animals but I didn't want to go too far either so we'll uh, we'll get these tightened back up and try it uh, not gonna finish this pen today they'll finish a couple lines here so it'll continue tomorrow and probably the next day even in this pen then we'll be able to see how uh, how it looks in this pen before we get started on the other one but uh, yeah kind of funny not obviously not enough to where you'd notice it without measuring it but now we're going through and measuring it they're definitely definitely it's uh, I mean four inches that's quite a difference from uh, where we want it to be so yeah we'll get this straightened out I did find so we've got one late lactation pen also I think I'd like to give those cows a little more space so I might move those uh, back an inch maybe two a lot of bigger cows in that pen because it's all late lactation cows all pregnant cows but uh, yeah we'll do these two first see how it goes and if I'm looking for more work to do then we'll uh, work on that pen six otherwise we'll do it another time but I think I'm gonna end this video here uh, appreciate you guys watching if you have any questions or comments, post them down below and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video.